Hey there coffee lovers, Logan here, professional barista for MajestyCoffee.com and today we're reviewing coffee beans versus espresso beans. What's the difference? Let's get started. Alright, so let's begin by talking coffee versus espresso. What is the difference? Well, the simple answer is that they are both one and the same. The more complex answer is that espresso just falls under the category of coffee, though we can completely bust the myth that there is one type of espresso roast. You can use any type of coffee you'd like for espresso. Now that being said, it's not necessarily going to give you the best results unless you use the right kind. But there is no one and only kind of coffee bean that is used for espresso. Therefore, anything labeled as an espresso bean, that's just a name. So what are we looking for when we're choosing an espresso bean? We want to go for a bean that is between 2 and 14 days old, though these dates are kind of just a guide of reference and not so rigid. The reason we don't want to use the freshest possible bean right off the roast is when beans are roasted, they are entirely more gaseous than they are after a few days of letting them sit and settle. So if you've ever tried a bean fresh off the roast, it's going to have a lot of competing flavors and extra gases and acids that will be taking over your palate. By allowing the coffee to age just a few days even, you're really going to help sort out these different flavors and they'll be way less muddled. Now the problem with using coffee as it ages is it will begin to lose some of those great flavors. Sometimes this is to its benefit and it may become smoother, more nutty, more chocolatey, but most of the time after 14 days we really lose that zing that we like in coffee, so we want to keep within that 14 day mark just as a general guide. In terms of roast, what are we looking for? Really with an espresso you can use anything from a very light roast to a very dark roast depending on your palate. Through my experience I've found it's best to go with something more in the medium spectrum because it really suits a wide range of palates. Something that is a blend, perhaps of South American, African coffees, etc. is going to help you get a more well-rounded flavor base that appeals to more people. And that's not to say you couldn't use a single origin Central American coffee. That's totally fine too and will still produce a great espresso. So really it's up to you. Be courageous and try a lot of different options and ask your customers for feedback. Or if it's for yourself at home, be very adventurous. Go for a light roast Ethiopian to really get a lot of fruity flavors. Have fun with it and happy brewing. So if you like this class here today, we have a whole Latte Art Mastery course available on our website. If you're not happy within 30 days, it's totally free. Check it out on MajestyCoffee.com slash Latte. See ya in class!